Hey friends, welcome to One Little Coder. Stable Diffusion or the company Stability.ai has come up with a new product called Reimagine. So this video we're going to see about Reimagine, how the tool works, and what is Reimagine, and all the details. First, I would like to start with a very quick demo of how Reimagine looks like. So Stable Diffusion, if you know, recently acquired a company called ClipDrop. So the de demo is available on ClipDrop. So if you go to ClipDrop and then select Apps and select Reimagine, Stable Diffusion Reimagine, you would reach this place. This is a place where you can actually try with the Reimagine tool and then see how it works. So now what is Reimagine? Reimagine as a tool is a tool where you can upload an image and generate new variations of it. And if you are familiar with DALI, DALI had a very similar feature where you can select one image and then it would generate a lot of variations of it. And that's exactly what you can do with Reimagine. Now, let me show you a demo first. So I have uh, like they have given a bunch of images here. So if I select this image, which is like a hill station and uh, Reimagine can generate more similar looking images. When I say similar, it is not just, you know, the color or it's it just looks at the entire image holistically and try to create similar images that that are like this, like this is our input image and it has generated this, this, this. And also it has got its own upscaler. So you can actually generate a HD image. Like you can generate like full HD image of this thing. So that's an amazing thing. So this is what Reimagine is. And there are multiple good use cases where you can use Reimagine and ClipDrop has highlighted these use cases. One is for creative agencies. For example, if you are going to create creatives for multiple customers, sometimes you want variations of the same image. So this is one image, but you want a variation of this, 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 or let's say you're creating website illustration. You are a web, web design agency. So sometimes you want to get similar looking pictures, but you don't want to, you know, go with stock photography. So you have one picture from, let's say, uh, stock photography, but you want multiple pictures of similar type for the same website. So you want to go with the theme. So that's where, again, you can use this tool. This is the original image. Now these are actually generated from stable diffusion reimagine. And again, of course, concept art, like this is the input image. These are all output images. These don't look actually really good at least. But I can understand like in terms of uh, interior design, in terms of uh, furniture, in terms of website design, in terms of creative agency marketing, I, I, I can see a huge, Im huge impact and application of what reimagine can do. So this is this is actually reimagine. We can look at different examples of reimagine. So now what is stable division talking about reimagine? So reimagine is a completely new concept of image to image generation. So typically what used to happen is when uh, stable diffusion, the original stable diffusion, it's a text to image generation model. And uh, in this particular case, at least with reimagine, there is no text at all. So you can see reimagine is based on a new technology, completely new algorithm created by stability.ai. It has not been open sourced yet. Stable diffusion, fortunately, unlike open AI has officially announced that the model will be soon open sourced in stability.ai GitHub. So that's a good thing. But for now, if you see the classical text to image stable diffusion model is trained on conditioned text inputs. You might have seen like a lot of information about there is image, there is text input and uh, the image has noise and the noise is remote based on the text input. That's how stable diffusion used to create the actual text to image in um, model. Like you say, I want a panda eating noodles. So it would now try to remove the noise from this image in such a way that you get panda eating noodles. Now this version, this, this reimagine replaces the original text encoder with an image encoder. So in a typical stable diffusion model, you've got an image encoder. So you've got a text encoder, which would take the input text and then try to convert it into, let's say mathematical numbers. Now in the reimagine model or reimagine algorithm, there is no text encoder at all. So it directly learns from the input image in itself. So it doesn't try to read the image rather it says, Instead of generating images based on text input, images are actually generated from an image. So the input image that you give is going to be used to generate the output image. Some noise is added to generate variations after the encoder is put through the algorithm. So we still do not have a lot of details, but it looks like it tries to copy the image and then add some noise so that you generate variations of this image. I'm not sure if this is how exactly Dali does, but Dali, Dali also has a really good variations feature, which I used to love a lot. So overall, let's wait for this model to be launched open source. But right now, this approach uh, produces similar looking images, 
with various details like details and composition of the image and you can see the details that it has got if this is the input image so you have got these images this images you can see the kind of the color tone that it has got the kind of element that it has got and um, you can also see how it is it tries to have all the things that are in the original image and it also um, you can play with you know human images as well like the fashion images you can upload this image you can generate multiple variations of it there is no model training happening here there is no dream booth that you have to train to get a similar aesthetic i know if you are a familiar with stable diffusion ecosystem previously what we used to do is we used to always train let's say dream booth or lora to get a similar aesthetic but looks like now you don't have to do that you can you can do that also clip drop has an upscaler feature which means you can upload a small uh, smaller image and then get high level details so they have got a demo of that in the announcement blog post now we know stable diffusion reimagine is a tool or is a model it's tool and model that will help you generate new variations of an existing image this is going to be open source right now it is not and it does not have any text encoder in itself it's going to be an image encoder so it's going to use literally the image to generate a new image now let's look at some other interesting demos of the tool so what i decided to do is i decided to take a john wick picture and upload it here and then i wanted to see the result so these are the results that i've got this one 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 while i wouldn't say that the image looks really good like it it almost feels like the the cfg scale um looks uh, slightly you know on the higher side like when when i see the images if you are familiar with the stable diffusion parameters but overall you can see that it has got the similar hairstyle aesthetics the suit and the, the tie the color dress the 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 color background so everything looks good like there is the face is not proper but i can see how this thing entire thing works now if you want to try it yourself i'll link the stable diffusion reimagine from the clip drop in the youtube description so it's easier for you to try it out so first let's look at the interior that they've given if you look at the interior this is the upload image uh, input image that we uploaded so let's say this is a this is a simple bedroom or something and these are the images that it has generated except that you have a messy bed um, here i think only one towel is messy this is like completely messy but you can see how it can produce similar images like in fact like quite similar you have a plant you have a bulb you have like a bed you have a mattress and you have a, you have lot of other things so imagine like you want to design a website for a for a customer who sells these kind of things now instead of going to a stock photography you can actually generate these images either using a tool like clip drop or yourself like if the model is open source you can generate it and the applications are quite huge i would say um if you take an abstract image this is quite an abstract image and if you upload this you can see that how it generates more abstract pattern that look like that so when i wanted to try image from the internet somehow very high resolution did not work for me and i always uh, had to select a square image to see how it works so i'm going to show you a live demo of how it would do when we have a square image so i'm going to go to duckduckgo and then i'm going to look for a look for an image let's say avatar way of water oh my goodness and look for images okay so let me pick one of the image here this image looks good but i need to pick square image i'm going to pick square i'm not still sure about this hypothesis if you have to always upload square image but whenever i tested square images seem to get accepted so i'm going to pick an image that is quite like this maybe yeah let me pick that image this is a 474 by 592 image so i want to click view file save the image save it go back to clip drop try okay it's avif why do they have avif save images jpg save it use jpg okay go to clip drop upload this there is an error see whenever i had image of different resolution for some strange reason i i was getting this error so i'm not i'm not honestly sure if uh, this has anything to do with now uh, the format that i'm trying like i tried multiple images but i got the same thing so i always was looking around somewhere around the 500 range so let's see if i can put the exact size small 
and look for a smaller image here so i can pick this one maybe view file save the image save it go back drag and drop so the smaller one accepted so i'm not sure if it is it should be less than 512 and also i'm not sure if it has to be square but i always had to look for something that is smaller and square maybe maybe just the size is the matter but you can see i uploaded the image it has generated the variations not necessarily the best images but you can see that this entire thing works the setup works and the idea is i think more than human pictures i'm okay with human pictures but more than human pictures i think i would absolutely love it for a um, for for things where uh, you know that aesthetic is there so one thing that i wanted to actually try is if you know about analog diffusion from um, it's uh, it's hosted on hugging face it's a it's a model based on stable diffusion i always loved analog diffusion models so you can see the kind of pictures analog diffusion generated i've always been a big big very big fan of it so if you were to pick one of the analog diffusion images and then see how it works like like i loved analog diffusion for um, for the aesthetic that it has got so i would strongly encourage you to pick one of these analog diffusion images like for example um, let me pick this one and then save it and go back here i don't know again whether this image will get accepted but let me try my like okay it's not square but it got accepted so it it has got background neon lights red in the color it has got a blonde girl at the front and uh, it got accepted so i i don't see the background neon lights but you can see the color tone how it restore how it retains the same color tone uh, i i'm not sure like if uh, if image to image would have done this kind of job also i've not tried with dali in itself but this doesn't look the most perfect at this point because most of the images that are generated don't look like it has been processed yet but imagine this tool exists with mid journey like the potential is amazing so overall stable division reimagine looks like a really nice step into the future where you do not have need a text encoder you can do like pure image to image generation and stable diffusion has promised that this model would be open sourced in the future but today if you want to try it out go to clipdrop.co i'll link it in the youtube description you can try stable diffusion reimagine let me know what you think about this model i'm pretty excited about this thing with all the large language model things happening seeing another stable diffusion release made me actually happy like because this is like probably like old days now so let me know what you think about this model see you in another video happy prompting